Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, as you can tell, I'm getting ready to work out. Now, I'm not going to be filming my workout, really. I'm just kind of chit-chatting right now. I might get a clip here and there, but fixing to work out uh, shoulders. You've seen me do that once or twice. So, not going to bore you. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Our male is running at weird times. One. One, two, three. That's just kind of how I wrap my arms, my hands. I did this years ago when I worked out. 2007, 2010 is whenever I did, started using wraps. So I use them again, and especially these days I have arthritis, and so it kind of helps to keep the arms a little stiffer. Uh, I got arthritis in my wrist pretty good. So today I do have a shoulder day, and I'm gonna kill my shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know why, but I chose to write down all kind of stuff, and I'm gonna attempt to get it all done so I'm gonna burn the heck out of them I'm gonna lift heavy and I'm gonna lift light and I'm gonna lift a lot and do a, about five different movements five or six different movements and I don't know I'm just gonna tear them up guys and I need a tall tripod this tripod here about four foot tall. I want to get like a seven, eight foot tall tripod. So maybe one day. So right now what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to do some sitting dumbbell presses for the shoulders. I'm going to go up to 80 pounds. I'm going to work my way up. And then I'm going to get on to the next exercise. So we'll see you maybe in a clip here or there, a discussion, a little talk, a little something. Hang in there, guys. So today before my workout, I had a little pre, pre meal, had some oats, I was scooping my whey protein, spoonful of some uh, Hershey's cocoa, uh, tablespoon or so of some syrup, a banana, a little bit of water, mixed it up, made a nice little paste of it. I like to eat that, it's kind of a dessert, but it's also really healthy. And uh, it's a good pre-workout uh, pre-workout meal about a half a cup of dry oats and then uh, you know the rest is follows so <clears throat> now unfortunately whenever I do dumbbell presses or in dumbbell anything I've only got so many dumbbells so I kind of I have a big jump from 50 up to 80 so it's not always pretty but i do get them done so let's shoulder press some 80s <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Yeah! Woo! Not every day I squeeze out 10 of those bad boys. There's a difference in working out and working out. Remember that all, the, all of those people out there who like to comment randomly with people and have conversations such as, yeah, I work out or I used to work out. There's a lot, uh, there's a lot of in between there. I work out six, seven days a week. That's working out. Working out once a week isn't working out. Lifting a couple of dumbbells a couple of times a week, you know, and that's not working out. That's playing around. There's a difference in there, guys. Uh, it's kind of like saying I'm a, I'm a photographer. Yeah, I can do some photography and I have done some for pay, but I'm not a photographer on that sense that you might think. So, just like I'm not a computer technician, yep, I can build computers and I have worked on computers and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not a computer technician, okay? Same thing with uh, carpentry. I was in construction for almost 15 years, built homes from the footer all the way to the roof and handing over keys, big metal buildings, homes, additions, uh, everything you can imagine, concrete that are wrapped around the world, two times probably. But I'm not a carpenter, and I'm surely not a skilled woods craftsman type guy either. I'm just, I'm an educated helper. So, uh, make sure whenever you tell people that you do something or you are something that you truly know the differences there. I think that's all I'm going to do with the shoulder presses for dumbbells. Now I'm going to move on to uh, easy bar presses and uh, see what we can do there. So I've already warmed up my shoulders from doing the dumbbell shoulder presses, so I'm jumping right up to 90 pounds plus the bar. <clears throat> and I'm going to jump straight up from 90 to 140 plus the bar. I'm looking to get heavier weight and less reps for the most part. <laughs> I'm going up to 160 plus the bar. But 80 and 80 on the dumbbells, that's 160, so we're just going to 160 on this. Uh, and uh, hopes that we don't blow a gasket. So on the easy bar presses, I only did three sets because I'm doing a lot for the shoulders. Uh, I did five sets, I believe five sets of sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. And then I did three, four, four, five. I did five sets of the dumbbell presses, three sets of the easy bar standing presses. Now I'm moving over to the Smith machine press. I'm gonna keep it light. I may even go down further than this. Uh, I got 35s on each side, but keep in mind, this bar weighs at least 35, 45 pounds, at least 40. And these uh, guide poles here that go on the guide rods, 
these things weigh every bit of 10 pounds. Plus, you've got the friction from these cups on the guide rods. So, there's a lot of weight here. Don't be fooled and don't think you're going to go into this doing a whole lot more weight. So, You gotta get centered on here just right. And I forgot to put my dumbbells back on here. good I'll probably stick with uh, three or four sets of those and uh, we'll go from there now touching base on what I said a few minutes ago about uh, what it takes what really constitutes working out that's not dissing anyone that's out there trying it's just trying to it's putting things into perspective into reality uh, what it takes to be someone who's really dedicated and doing something and uh, knows the craft and knows what they're doing versus someone who goes and does something once a week three or four times a month or something or what have you and is you know not doing anything uh, outside of the ordinary uh, bench press or, or uh, arm curl you know bicep curl let's face it that's what most guys are out there doing whenever they talk about yeah I'll work out yeah, dude, I work out. No, there's a lot more to working out than just doing a bench press and curling some weights. Uh, there's a lot. So, <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of time and dedication that goes along with it. And uh, I'm working out six days a week. Sometimes I'm going ahead and doing something seven days a week. I'm always, uh, I walk, I spin, and uh, I work out six days a week. And on the seventh day, uh, which is usually my Sunday, Sunday's usually my off day if I have one. Sunday, I'm always still gonna do a walk or a spin or ride my bike back and forth in the neighborhood and get a few miles in. And, uh, and I'm always doing something. You never have really a day off. Uh, you're not going to overtrain yourself, believe me. 99.99% uh, of you out there are not overtraining, so do something every day. And also get your diet in check because if you're trying to change your physique, your diet is about 80 to 85% of the equation. Uh, these weights are very little to do with uh, seeing the significant change that you want in your body. Uh, we can all gain weight, gain some muscle, and lift some heavy weights. But it takes real dedication to drop some weight body-wise and look look the part, at least to some degree. Nobody's saying you got to be ripped, but at least not be fat, not be heavy, plump, and uh, try to take care of yourself because it all falls back on health. All right? And that's the main goal when you work out. It should be is health. I can speak from experience because I've been someone who's ate tons of food his whole life. Uh, the great American diet of eat what you want and as much as you want. That was always me. That's my family. And uh, uh, here the last several months, I've finally gotten things in check where I'm paying more close attention to my diet and my calories and sticking to a training program every day and watching what you eat is the key to success. You're not gonna be on the Mr. Olympia stage. You're not gonna be on the Mr. Universe stage. You're not gonna be on the Arnold Classic stage. You're not gonna be on any of these other stages. So you might as well get that out of your head. Live in reality when it comes to working out and health and fitness. And uh, if you stay on that level, you're gonna have a whole lot more success. So I got two more sets of Smith Machine shoulder presses to do. Uh, we're keeping these lightweight at 70 pounds, uh, 35 on each side, plus the whole weight of the carriage and all. 
and uh, we're just doing reps of 10, uh, sets of 10, uh, four sets, and uh, then we're gonna move on to some side lateral raises and some dumbbell shrugs and barbell shrugs, and we're, we're gonna finish up because I'm gonna be ready to eat. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, I'm on my last exercise for the night. Whew. Doing some easy bar shrugs. I just got done with dumbbell shrugs. I've only went up 30 pounds. I'm only doing 230 pound shrugs. But uh, that's good enough because I've uh, hit my shoulders really good tonight and my traps are getting hit as well. So I got three more sets of these to do. Let's just film one set just for poops and poops. How about that? All right, guys, we're wrapping this video up. I got two more sets of those Easy Bar Shrugs to do. I'm gonna wrap this up. I gotta get this done. I gotta still cook supper and it's getting late and I still have to go for walk number two. So the basic uh, moral of this story is, not necessarily watching me work out, as you can tell, I didn't really record much, but it's about putting in the effort and not pretending like you're putting in the effort. Stop saying that you do something when you really don't do something and stop acting like you're doing the best you can when you're really not. I'm talking to everyone out there who keeps making excuses and that goes out to the old me, the way I used to be. You know, eventually your mind snaps and you finally get in that spot where you realize what you've been doing wrong and, uh, and you finally get to that point. I'm not saying everything's perfect right now, but comparing myself now to where I was even 20 years ago when I was 30, I'm probably in better shape and better health now than I was at 30. I started gaining weight whenever I hit 30. In my 20s, I was a god. 30s, I was still putting on some size and some strength and doing good, but I was still putting on fat. Uh, because I ate whatever I wanted and as much as I wanted at 2 o'clock in the morning if I wanted to. I didn't care. And uh, my 40s have been that way. And uh, just, just this year, since I've started back working out, I've really snapped. And I've, my mind is on track where it should have been all them years ago, guys. So stop pretending and wake up and realize that you've been doing yourself an injustice this whole time uh, we are capable of doing a whole lot more if we just put in the effort and get our mind where it needs to be all right well i'm going to get these done and uh we'll see you next time on mikey sin tv uh, i would i would say like share subscribe comment all that good stuff but again uh, in case you don't know i am closing down mikey sin tv at the end of this year so it don't really matter about those things but i hope you get something out of this video and all the other videos on here so guys get up get out get ready do it do it we'll see you next time for now on mikey sun tv see ya all right guys 606 606 p.m friday finally sitting down to eat got my chicken got my piece of cod got my onions my bell peppers my tomato my asparagus 
all done up real nice with some different herbs and spices and all that. Hmm. Just what you gotta do, guys. Whether you get tired of it or not, it's what you gotta do. Urgh. Move this thing. There we go. Can't really see. Whew. Got a tweak in my back. This right here is seven days a week. Got my rice. Half a cup. Until you start making some serious progress, you have to keep your diet 100% in check. Then when you make a little bit of progress, you might give yourself a little treat. Those are known as cheat days. Matter of fact, I get a cheat day tomorrow. So until you make some significant changes in your life, you don't get cheat days, guys. You got to earn it. It's kind of like people that, kind of the idiots out there in the world that look at bodybuilders, the big guys, all these ripped guys and big, huge guys. And all they think that they do is pop some steroids and they're ginormous. You don't know the amount of work that goes in. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't last one day. You wouldn't last one day in their world. Don't even pretend like you would. They literally weigh out everything they eat, every meal is prepped, they know what they're doing, so many clueless people out there. Sad. Clean up your diet. Get in the gym. Get outdoors. Do something. Be active. Be healthy. Take care of yourself. And my little Mandarin says... Get up, get out, get around and do it to it. See y'all later.